feel loved and accepted and to give them you know, a, a purpose. It's very, very important. I saw my old high school post that if I could remember it, it's employed, enrolled, or enlisted. Yes. And I think oh, that's a nice. great thing to think about because so many times you go to school, you're in high school, you think you need to go to college, but right. that's not the only answer. Absolutely. There's so many options and we have so many students that are about to graduate and take some yes. of those options. I know. It's so excited and everybody's going to be asking them, so so what's next? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Do y'all miss that? No. Oh, no. no. Not at all. <laughs> Don't feel the pressure, all of you students That's out right. there. Whatever you decide, everyone's going to be very proud of you, as are we. Graduating is a huge accomplishment. So, And uh, I know we're going to continue to celebrate a lot of our great grads across central Georgia. So uh, be sure to look out for that throughout the shows as we go through graduation season. All right, everyone. Well, yesterday was a little bit on the toasty side, if you ask me. And let's cool things down temporarily. And... <laughs> cool things down very slightly today, shall we? So high pressure in control behind our cold front that moved in yesterday. And most of you probably didn't even notice it. We had maybe a stray shower or two thanks to that front, a light breeze, but that was really about it. Now, now it is down to our south, bringing rain to parts of South Georgia, but with high pressure and control now, what does that mean? That's going to bring us a lot of sunshine today. So it'll look really nice out there and it will feel nicer. Yesterday we had wind ahead of our front coming out of the southwest. Today wind will be coming out of the north. So that is going to at least pull in some drier air, meaning our humidity is going to be slightly lower. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to feel fall like out there, but It'll at least be more comfortable than yesterday. 63 right now in the city of Perry, one of the slightly cooler spots this morning. You're, of course, looking live on top of the fairgrounds in Agri Center, where the countdown to May Day is on the Midway. Definitely on, only a couple of days away, two days, in fact. 61 in Byron, 63 in Fort Valley, 67 in Montezuma, 61 up in Forsyth, 62 in Warner Robins, 67 over in Irwinton, 63 in Milledgeville. So if you're north of Macon, you're in the upper 50s in some spots and low 60s. South of Macon, you're still closer to 70. Is that cool? cooler air that's spilling in from the north behind our front and that drier air just hasn't quite settled in yet for you. So this will be the case through the day. You'll be cooler if you're north of Macon, slightly warmer if you're south of Macon. So for the most part, we're more comfortable, but if you're south of Macon, you're still feeling a little muggy this morning. So as we go through the day today, mid to upper 80s, if you're south of Macon, you'll head closer to 90 today. Some of you maybe even will budge into the low 90s, mid 90s tomorrow, upper 90s for the start of May days on the Midway. If you are planning on going to that Thursday, Day, you need to stay hydrated. It's going to be a very hot afternoon. In fact, that could tie a record that day. And then notice as we head into the weekend, we start cooling down. Well, I have some good news for you. A lot of people have been asking me, Courtney, when are we finally going to get some rain? Well, it does look like the six to 10 day precipitation outlook for us does show signs of good news. So this goes beyond the seven day you take from day six all the way to day 10 average the rainfall and it does look like we will get some beneficial rainfall and that'll really start Saturday. We'll stay dry through Friday. Then as we head into Saturday afternoon, we'll have the chance for afternoon showers and storms ahead of a cold front that will continue to bring us that chance for widespread showers and thunderstorms into the weekend. So unfortunately right now, if you have any outdoor plans for the weekend, you might want to rearrange those a little bit. But of course, there's still time to figure this out, but it looks like we'll keep rain even into Monday of next week. Could pick up over an inch and a half rain in some spots over those three days. So definitely much welcomed rainfall. In the meantime, warm and dry or hot and dry, but rain does return just in time for the weekend.